I am Fred Myers, the founder of For the Fathers Ministry, and this is Faith by the Numbers. Count your way to wisdom in number 102 of this series, Seven Things About the Evil Days. Jesus prayed in the garden the night before he was crucified. John 17, 15. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Christians are not taken out of the evil. They are to be a light in the midst of evil. The Bible is clear. All the days are evil until the Lord returns, and we are to do seven things in these evil time periods. Seven things about the evil days. One, make the best of the days of evil. Two, know we will be delivered from the present evil age. Three, put on the armor of God to withstand the evil day. Four, be prudent and keep silent. It is an evil time. Five, remember God in the evil days to come. Six, know that the angels will separate the evil from the righteous at the end of the age. Seven, in a world of evil, evil will fall suddenly upon the children of man. Lot lived among the evil, and the Bible says that it vexed Lot's poor soul. I want you to notice that God rescued Lot and he will rescue every Christian. 2 Peter 2.7 And if he rescued righteous Lot, greatly distressed by the sensual conduct of the wicked, for as that righteous man lived among them day after day, he was tormenting his righteous soul over their lawless deeds that he saw and heard. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment. Every Christian's poor soul is vexed, and therefore our hope is in the return of Jesus Christ. I am Fred Myers, and this is Faith by the Numbers. It is my prayer that many will count their way to wisdom through this series and find the peace that surpasses all understanding.